Well, this week marks a major anniversary for our World War II veterans here. Uh, June 6th is the 75th anniversary of the landing on the Normandy beaches, but we are going to be honoring veterans locally in our area in a really, really big way. I want to welcome in Kelly Oakley with the Honor Flight Bluegrass. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. And we also have Stella West, a World War II veteran with the Army, Women's Army Corps. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Wow. We are very honored to have you both here with us. Thank you so much. Um, for folks who might not know about the Honor Flight Bluegrass, tell us more about the group itself. Well, we typically fly um, World War II, Korean War, and Vietnam War veterans, yeah. all expense paid to um, Washington, D.C. to see their memorials. And this time it's going to be a little different because a lot of our veterans are aging right. and they can't make the trip to D.C. So uh, we're going to have it right in Louisville, Kentucky um, on the 75th anniversary of D-Day. That is something. Yeah. Um, Stella, have you been on one of these flights? Yes, I have. Talk about your experience and being part of that. Oh, it's, it's a wonderful experience. They keep you busy all day. Yeah. You don't have time to get bored. <laughs> we like that. <laughs> I, I, the best part that I liked about it was, uh, I liked all of it, yeah. of course, but we went to the Women's Memorial in, in Washington, D.C., which is uh, called WIMSA. Okay. It's, uh, it was uh, organized in 1997, mm -hmm. and uh, I was there. That is something. Um, it, it's, it's really a wonderful thing. Absolutely. Why um, is it so important that we take the time now to honor our World War II veterans and all of our veterans, really? Yes. Is that something that you feel is very important to do? That's very important to me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, can anyone sign up for this that's a veteran? Absolutely. Um, you can, we're bl Kentucky is blessed with two honor flights. Yeah. So there's one in Lexington and one in Louisville, and we both have websites. So if you're a World War II, Korean War, or Vietnam War veteran, we want to get you to D.C. It's, it's our way to give back, right. um, and it's the least we could do. Uh, they've, you know, been, they've graciously served our country, so it's the least we can do. Absolutely. And this yeah. is just one event of, of several that you guys really have going on. Tell us about some of the other activities you have planned for the week. Oh my goodness, so <laughs> Fraser Museum, we have a World War II panel discussion, and then Louisville Bats, uh, Wednesday night will be World War II night, and so uh, Woody Williams will be in. He's a Medal of Honor recipient, World War II veteran. He'll be in to throw out a pitch, and we have a 101-year-old that'll also be throwing out the pitch. And, um, and then D-Day uh, will be at Louisville Memorial Auditorium. There's still, still some tickets available for the public. And that'll be uh, 6 o'clock, the doors will open, Wonderful. and we have uh, just an amazing presentation uh, for them. And we're taking them back to 1944, so oh, the music, wow. um, the whole evening will be like a big USO show. I'm sure this is something that you'll remember forever. That's, that's something to remember, uh, for sure. Yes. Oh, something goodness. to experience. We could pick your brain all day, Stella. <laughs> all right, we've got to wrap things up, but thank you both for joining us, and thank, thank you, Stella, for your service. We truly appreciate it. So thank important. Thank you for saying that.